Chapter 2 Working with Windows 10 Windows 10 is a graphical user interface, GUI, which means we do not have to remember all the commands. As it is a GUI, just a click of the mouse is needed to get work done. It allows us to run several programs simultaneously. Windows XP, Windows 7 and Windows 10 are the most popular versions of Windows. Windows 10 Desktop As soon as we press the power button on the computer system, it sends the message to RAM and starts activating the operating system. This process is known as booting. Windows welcome screen appears when the operating system is still activating. The final screen which appears after booting is the desktop. The desktop in Windows 10 is main interface between the user and the computer. It has several components such as start menu, taskbar, background and icons. Start button We can access the start menu by clicking the start button. The start menu has two panes. Left pane displays an alphabetical list of programs installed on your computer and right pane contains tiles. Live tiles Shortcuts of applications are called live tiles. These tiles display information such as weather, news, calendar, and email messages. We can also click on game tiles to play games. Adding a tile Follow these steps to add a tile. Step 1 Click on the Start menu. Step 2 Scroll to the name of the app or program. Right-click on the app which you want to add to Start menu. Step 3 Select Pin to Start. The selected app will appear as a live tile. Resizing a tile Follow these steps to resize a tile. Step 1 Right-click on the tile. Step 2 Select the resize option. Step 3 Select the size of your choice. The tile will be resized. Removing a tile Follow these steps to remove a tile. Step 1 Right-click on the tile. Step 2 Choose the option Unpin from Start option. The tile will be removed. Icons Icons are small images or symbols with names that represent programs, folders or files. Icons are shortcuts of application programs installed on the computer system such as this PC, Recycle Bin, etc. We can open the application file or folder with just one click. This PC icon When we click on this icon, it opens a window which displays all the files or folders that are on the computer system. It is also called File Explorer where we can create, rename, copy, move, delete and search files or folders. Taskbar Taskbar is a long horizontal bar located at the bottom of the desktop. We can organize and manage several programs opened in different windows with the help of taskbar. Pin an application to the taskbar. These steps to pin an application to the taskbar. Step 1. Type and search the name of the application you want to pin from the search box. Step 2. Right-click on the application name in search results. A menu will appear. Step 3. Select pin to the taskbar option. The application icon will appear on the taskbar. Unpin an application from the taskbar. A taskbar can appear cluttered because of pinning too many applications. We can unpin the application to make it look clean and organized again. 
Follow these steps to unpin an application from the taskbar. Step 1. Right-click on the application icon on the taskbar. A pop-up menu will appear. Step 2. Select the unpin from the taskbar option. The icon will be removed from the taskbar. Moving the taskbar. The position of the taskbar can be on any of the four sides of the screen. Follow these steps to move the taskbar. Step 1. Right-click on the taskbar and uncheck the lock the taskbar option by clicking on it. Step 2. Click on the taskbar and drag it to any side of the screen where you want to place it. File or Folder A file is used to store all programs or data of the computer. A folder is used to store files. File is a collection of data and information stored on storage devices like hard disk, pen drive, CD, DVD. There are different types of files depending on the type of information they store. It can be document file, Excel file, PowerPoint file, image file, music file, video file, etc. which has its own specific icon. This helps us in identifying the file just by looking at the icon. Folder is a collection of files. It is also known as a directory. A folder can also contain subfolders in itself. It has a different icon than a file. If we double-click on a folder, we will be able to see a list of thumbnails or files which are a part of that folder. Selecting Files or Folders We can click on a file or a folder to open it. In order to select multiple files or folders, select the first file folder then press the Ctrl key. Keep pressing the key until you select all the other files folders you wanted to select. Creating a folder A folder can be created on the desktop or in the file explorer window. Follow these steps to create a folder on desktop. Step 1. Right click at a blank area on the desktop. A pop-up menu will appear. Step 2. Move the mouse pointer to the new option. A submenu will appear. Step 3. Click on the folder option. A new folder icon with the name new folder will appear on the desktop. You can type a name of your choice and press the enter key or click anywhere outside the icon if you don't want to type a name. The name will Step 1. Open File Explorer by clicking on the This PC icon. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the New Folder command in the New Group tab from the ribbon. A new folder will be created. Renaming a file or folder. We rename a file in order to change the current name of the file to a new name. Follow these steps to rename a file. Step 1. Select the file or folder that you wish to rename. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the Rename command in the Organize group. Step 4. The name of the file folder will appear highlighted. Type the new name in that space and press the Enter key. We can also rename a folder simply by right-clicking on the name of the file folder. A pop-up menu will appear, from which we can choose the rename option. Copying a file or a folder we copy a file or a folder by making a copy of the original file folder in the same location or in a different location. Copying does not remove the file folder from its original location. Follow these steps to copy a file folder. Step 1. 
Go to File Explorer and browse the location of the file folder which you wish to copy. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Select the file folder that needs to be copied. Step 4. Click on the Copy command in the clipboard group. Step 5. Select the destination where you wish to copy the file folder. Step 6. Select the Paste command from the clipboard group. The copy of the file folder will appear at the new location. Keyboard shortcut. Press Ctrl plus C on the keyboard to copy a file folder. Moving a file or a folder. Files and folders can be moved from one place to another. Unlike copying, once we move a file folder from its original place to the new location, we will not be able to find the file folder at the previous location. Follow these steps to move a file folder. Step 1. In File Explorer, browse to the location of the file folder which you wish to move. Step 2. Select the file folder that you wish to move. Step 3. Click on the Home tab. Step 4. Select the Cut command from the clipboard group. Step 5. Select the destination location folder where you wish to move the file folder. Step 6. Select the paste command from the clipboard group. The file folder will be moved to the new location. Deleting a file or a folder. Follow these steps to delete a file folder. Step 1. In File Explorer, browse to the location of the file folder which you wish to delete. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Select the file folder that you wish to delete. Step 4. Select the Delete command from the Organize group. The Delete File dialog box will appear. Step 5. Click on the Yes option in the dialog box. The file folder will be removed. Recycle Bin Recycle Bin is the place where all the deleted folders and files are stored. It is very helpful in case we delete a file folder by mistake, we can restore it from here. To open the Recycle Bin window, Double click on the Recycle Bin icon. If you wish to restore all the deleted items to the original location, select the Restore All Items button. If you wish to restore specific files folders to their original location, select those files folders and click on the Restore the Selected Items button. If you wish to remove all the deleted files permanently, Click on the empty recycle bin button.